everybody Ann Hughes and on my porch having my coffee with you today and I'm a little bit cranky well a couple of reasons first of all Papa has found a new girlfriend her name is Nella she lives next door and this dog is crazy about this dog he did something yesterday evening that just <sighs> upset me look at this poor boy Papa is roasting in this heat <laughs> so I've let him use my little fan and you know what he digs it he does this poor boy is twisted he is all twisted up because he's got a girlfriend her name is Nella she lives next door and she's in heat she is a beautiful beautiful dog a very friendly dog this boy is also not fixed he will get fixed eventually when I take him in for his six month heartworm checkup. We're gonna talk about that. But Nella, she comes over, she's in heat, so she's spreading her scent all the way from here to over their property. And I'm pretty sure Papa's gotten to her because when I had the neighbor kids out hiking on Mr. Lucas Trail, and we were looking for mushrooms to help me find chanterelle mushrooms. And Sunshine helped me pick plantain leaves. He was so cute. Well, Papa and Nella went off by themselves into the woods. And all of a sudden, I hear this shriek. I don't think it came from Papa. I'm pretty sure it came from Nella. And then, eventually, they emerged from the woods together. And I think he may have gotten to her. So, I don't know. We may have some puppies. They're trying to keep Nella indoors. And I'm trying my hardest hardest to keep this boy in the yard but it's really really hard because a little bit ago he just jumped over and I'll show you I'll show it to you he jumped over the fence into the chicken yard he jumped through one tarp up on top of another tarp he pinned one of the chickens down underneath she lost a bunch of feathers then he jumped up over another fence and took a beeline over so he could see his girlfriend because they're trying to keep her inside but just let her out to do her business until they can get her fixed and he went over there and boy I yelled at him big time I yelled at him because I know they're trying to keep him separate but he has such a strong drive to go over there so I yelled at him yeah I used some choice words that the Lord would not be happy with but it's part of doggy nature, so if Nella ends up having puppies, I already told them I'd help them pay for dog food and puppy food, and I would definitely take at least one of the puppies. So I don't know. We, we may have some puppies. But poor Papa, he's so hot. He's got so much fur. So I'm letting him use my little fans. He's a good boy, though. But... He was a bad boy there for a little bit. Man, I could not believe his agility in him jumping over that fence. So let me show you what he did. Here's what Papa did. You'll notice I've had to change this tarp. It was further this way. I've had to put it further that way. What Papa did when it was over this way, there was a little gap over here. So he got up underneath of this tarp. He jumped up through the little space in here the space was I don't know maybe that big jumped up through the tarp landed on top of this this totally became disconnected it came ripped off from that end over there disconnected from here he came down on top of the tarp there was a chicken underneath of him there was a bunch of feathers down there and then he jumped over this fence and went over there and took off towards the neighbors property and he went up underneath of their house and would not come out so I texted the mom and she says don't worry about it you know Nella was inside he did finally come home um, I did scold him but it's not his fault you know it's not Nella's fault she just wanted or he just wanted to get out and get over and see his girlfriend but everything's all fixed now so all is well just look at him this poor puppy. He doesn't like the water either, so I guess I'll just have to put fans on him. You're a sweet puppy. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to 
figure out a way to keep him in this yard. I've blocked off the weak points, so hopefully he won't get out. I'm just going to have to keep a close eye on him. I certainly don't want him to be a nuisance to my neighbors, and it worries me when he goes over there and he camps out underneath their house, just waiting for Nella to come out. And You guys, if you're watching, I am so sorry. I will do my best to keep my doggie over on my property. Of course, I don't mind if your doggies come over here, but... Um, you know, I, I know that you're not wanting puppies right now, so anyhow, um, it'll work out. The Lord has a way of fixing things, and I will definitely get Papa fixed. I think that that'll take care of half of the problem of him, you know, going off into the woods and whatnot. And that does kind of scare me a little bit, because sometimes he stays gone for a long period of time, and but he always comes back. Anyway, uh, it rained last night, rained a little bit this morning, yay, so I don't know what I'm going to get done today, it's supposed to be hot again, and it has just been so hot, you guys, and it paralyzes me, I have decided that I am a winter person, I am a late fall and winter person, um, because you can always add clothes, but there's so many clothes you can take off and not get arrested, <laughs> anyhow, uh, I gotta get my day going. So listen to this. This is what Papa does now. This is for his girlfriend. <laughs> Decided since it rained, I might as well use some laundry. This works better with two hands, but I'm holding the camera with the other. Look at how dirty that water is. Oh my gosh. I wear my clothes until they're practically standing up and walking on their own. I didn't use a whole lot of water because I just did a small load this time. But, you know, there was water in this bin. A tub rider after it rained. I'm taking advantage of it. Yep, still loving the hand wringer. This is awesome. Just a small load today. Yeah. Didn't want to do too terribly much. Um, but I wanted to get some clean jammies and some clean socks. And you know what? Doing laundry by hand, using a hand wringer, it is very therapeutic. I've been waiting to do this for such a long time. I'm going to pick one of these tomatoes. Hmm. These actually started ripening second. I am going to go ahead and pick this one right now. I'm going to snip that vine off in a second, but I'm going to make something delicious with this. I'm going to pick me a few sprigs of this wild lettuce. Oh, gosh, I've harvested off this so many times. Let me grab a couple of these. And a couple plantain leaves. One from here, one from here. Y'all know what I'm going to do, right? Yeah, you guessed it. Mixed wild lettuce, bacon, uh, maybe a couple more pieces. Just a couple more. Uh, I think just a couple more. I think that'll do it. Tomatoes! And a few of my delicious refrigerator pickles. Would you look at that? Oh my goodness, on an everything bagel with some extra pickles and tomatoes. Oh yeah, mm, you guys. I think I outdid myself. This is a fantastic sandwich. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.